I was born in 1964 in South Africa, uh, hunted from as, as uh, young as I can remember. And in uh, 1994, I started hunting in uh, Mozambique. Katali 11 is situated in the Zambezi Delta of coastal Mozambique. It's half a million acres in extent. It's a unique area. It has a variety of habitat, swamp, floodplain, tropical savanna, a sand forest and miombo woodland. When it comes to the conservation and management of wildlife in this area, it's, it's actually pretty simple. I'd like to give this area back a lot better than how I found it. When we started here in 94, the area was barely viable. Buffalo numbers, there were a total of 1,200 buffalo. Uh, quotas was very, were very small. We started with five buffalo, one water buck. Things like warthogs, reed buck, virtually non-existent. But right from the beginning, we decided to hang in for the long haul. Fortunately, we had an operation in another country which helped subsidize us here. Uh, probably the turning point for us was establishing a good, strong anti-poaching unit. Dallas Safari Club and the Dallas Safari Club Foundation is our main contributor towards our anti-poaching. I think one of the most important things with an anti-poaching unit is good leadership. We have a great head of our anti-poaching unit in Fana. He inspires his rangers, keeps discipline and is well organised. The second really important thing I believe is regular training. We have at least uh, a one, if not two, training uh, programs every year. They're hosted by the South African Wildlife College. These are the same guys that train Kruger Parks Rangers, and the, they, they are tremendous morale boosters. Not, not to even mention the, the, the uh, professionalism they, they instill in our rangers. I can tell you now that each and every one of our rangers in the Zambezi Delta Anti-Poaching Unit is darn proud to be part of it. Um, every area in, in, in Africa seems to have their own speciality on, on poaching. Um, fortunately, we see no um, uh, firearm poaching here whatsoever um, in Katadi 11. Um, predominantly, they use gin traps and cable snares. The cable snares and gin traps are exceedingly um, effective from a poaching standpoint. They catch huge, huge numbers of animals. Um, and the bad thing is, is if a poacher chooses not to go back and check his snares, they remain effective indefinitely. The reality of the situation here in the Delta is if you took the safari operation out and the anti-poaching unit out, within three years, 90% of this wildlife would be gone. We'd be back to where we started. The human numbers on the outside are just too great. When I started here, there were about 1,200 buffalo in the whole delta. Today, there are about 25,000. In Katadi 11, we had 44 known sable. Today, we sit at a little over 3,000. Zebra, we have quite a, a rare subspecies, the Salu zebra here. We only knew of five. Um, little pockets of them obviously gravitated into the area, and today, we have over 800. Virtually everything has, has followed suit, and uh, we virtually have capacity on most of our game species. To run an anti-poaching unit like we do with, a, with the Dallas helicopter, the motorcycles and all the rangers, one can't really justify doing that out of, a, out of the profit from a safari operation. Look, we certainly uh, contribute. The incredible numbers of game that we have in the Zambezi Delta today are all thanks for the generous support from Dallas Safari Club and the Dallas Safari Club Foundation. Without them, this would never be like it is today.